very important packages that I have in the mail. That one doesn't say what it is. Okay, um, and I almost thought I lost this, but I didn't. I put it somewhere where I wouldn't forget it, but I forgot I put it there. We're gonna keep the tradition going and open all these packages with the bearing that spun and caused me to build my VQ 35 DE. Let me take a swig of my Rockstar first. But let's open up these Kelford cans. This thing just slices and dices because it's so fucked up. This is all my specs from Tim. Thanks, Tim. There's one can, either blues intake or blues exhaust, and then vice versa. The official Kelford card. See that? Turbocharged Rev Up Nissan 350DZ Stage 2 to suit super lap or wild street performance. Wild street performance. And that's what we're going for. Wild street performance. We're gonna be tearing it up. You know one thing that's in here. But you don't know the other. Uh, let's see how, if this uh, bearing is is spun enough to cut through duct tape. Jeez, I really tore this bearing up. I could probably prepare food with this bearing. This is what you guys don't know about yet, and this is what you guys do know about. Damn, this thing's light. This is the billet oil pump. Let me open up what you guys do not know about yet. Don't even need to. It is a uprev mass airflow. All right, so to check it, the bed bed jump bop bop bop. I've been stuttering lately. My last video, I started to like, like I stuttered. So for us, us as in VQ35 DE, maybe the VQ37 but we have the fixed lifters and by fixed i mean that little knob notch that's there that sticks out and that is what rests on top of the valve they are not grindable you can't do anything with them you have to order a new one what i want to do next to check the clearances i have smaller um buckets in here in the um whatever i got smaller buckets in there i have them all written down on this box i just grabbed something to write on so I know what I need. And then as I take my measurements, I'm gonna write it down on what I need so I know what to order. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down to spec to um, check clearances. So this slides in there kind of easy. So I'm gonna make sure that I can't go any bigger. Right now I'm just running through the feeler gauges to see which one. So here we go right here. It's 0.33 millimeters and it has to be 0.25. And that's a 798 in there, so that's a, that's the smallest one I actually have. Um, a little bit of math. You want to go from 0.33, since this is the one that fit in there, 0.33 down to uh, 25, so that's 8. So I'm going to need an 806 in this spot. And I'm just going to take my Sharpie here. And I'm going to write on my ghetto box. 806 on there, that's what I need for that one. Uh, this one we're gonna measure that one now and see what I need there. I do have a thousandth of wiggle room for these, but um, I'd rather be a thousandth bigger because when this all heats up, it expands. If you guys know basic physics, if you don't, go back to high school. And for my exhaust side, it is 0.30 millimeters. This is the size I need. For this clearance no no all right I'm gonna put the camera down you guys get the gist so I need to have 0 0.30 on this as far as clearances and 0.25 on these and that is in millimeters and uh, inches it's 0 0.01 for the intake and 0 0.012 for the exhaust I got these numbers via my cam card right here intake exhaust 25 30. finish those and this is what i came up with you can see my sharpie started dying because i left it open 
Oh well. That one has to go up. That one has to go down. Um, just gonna put that one there. Obviously, so I'm gonna just kind of solve this puzzle on here. I'm gonna pull these cams off and solve that puzzle that I have. It ain't really a puzzle because I know where everything is, but I'm gonna place stuff where it should go. Um, then after I do that, I'm gonna triple check the clearances on here um, just because I wanna be safe. So now I have the cams off. I'm gonna use this magnet, which is the perfect thing. It's off of one of those uh, baby first safety first drones. But anyway, it's a strong ass neo magnet and it pulls them bitches right out. I know this one has to go over here. There we go. This is the 798. That's what I have written up there, 798. So we're gonna go ahead and put her in there. 798, and I need an 806 here. This is an 800. Damn, slippery as a goat. 800 can go here. All right, you get the gist. I need both hands. Boom, looks the same as it did before, but this time it's right. I hope they're gonna crank everything down. The uh, sequence that you wanna tighten these down in. So you put the cams in. Um, there's stamps on the um, cam brackets. Uh, like this one's A, you can see, not this top here, but it's a stamp on this little bump out here. A, B, C, D, E, F. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the other one, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, you shouldn't be building your motor. You can find all this in your service manual. Boom, 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 boom. Cams torqued down because these are facing up. These are going to be the first ones that I am going to check. Here's my feeler guage. Because I have a thousandths of an inch uh, clearance or wiggle room, I'm gonna use the 0 .009, 0 .010, and 0.011. And the gold one is what they want it spec to, but it can be either one of these and I'll be okay. So this slides under there easily. See if I can go one over just to be safe. No, can't. Okay, and this one, that one won't go in, but that one will. So I have the clearance on that. It's the best Rockstar they got on the market that I've had so far. I've had so many of them, I'm probably gonna die. All right, off to the exhaust side. Uh, I already checked these because I kind of forgot to pick up the camera. Uh, you guys can trust me on that because I don't feel like pulling this out. It's my engine. It's my engine. Um, if it don't work, it blows up. Your engine ain't gonna blow up. Mine is. So don't really worry about it. So let's spin this. Make sure you spin them bitches slow too. I fucking shit myself. Make sure don't snap back on the kid. So I'm gonna get the feeler gauge I need. That one is right. Measure these right. Yeah, so that one's under, and this one. No, that one's right. All right, so this one's under one. That one is perfect. Of course it's perfect, because, I mean, who did it? Who did it? So I measured all that. This side is good. Oh, wait, no. These needed 812s, and I don't have 812s, so I threw 814s in there purposely just so I can spin the cams while I measured it because obviously it would just grind on the top of the uh, valve if I didn't have the uh, bucket in there. But I put those in there, and these are these are 0.02 millimeters bigger than the bucket I needed. And now that I'm thinking out of, uh, of it, that's within a uh, thousandth of an inch. Huh, what do you know? A thousandth of an inch is 0.02 millimeters. So that actually worked out good. Damn, I'm hyped. Like, I'm hype. So this side is good, 100% good. I'm gonna have to solve the puzzle for this side after I get the measurements, order whatever buckets I do not have and that I need. Double, triple, quadruple, check these can clearances. And this is my kind of like Einstein write up. But this is 
the final ones that I have to order. So I have to order five of them at 802, 808, 798, 796, uh, two 808s actually. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and order those. And then in the next video, um, those should be here along with the uh, cam uh, gears. I also ordered new timing chains and tensioners because my old tensioners, if I can find one, they had uh, metal shavings in them, which I do not want that at all, actually. Um, some of you guys might want it, but not me. I have one complete head. This side is done. I'm gonna have to pull this back off. RTV this, these, the sides here, um, and then put the tensioner in and put that back on. And then we'll be done for this side. Um, as far as this side, I'm just gonna have to wait on that stuff. Uh, the oil pump is here. I can actually throw that on now. Pull this off. Alright, oil pump is on. Um, I'm not going to put on the, the slurp tube because uh, I don't want to hit anything. It's going to be hanging low. There's no point in it right now. Uh, thermostat, damn, I keep forgetting to order that. Uh, I'm going to, I'm actually going to order this before i edit this video so that ends this video um got the cams on kind of we got them uh specced and all that stuff uh next video we'll throw the cams on throw the uh timing chain cover on and the bottom end and all that stuff we'll just start uh the we'll really start the final assembly of this block if you liked it uh give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you guys can see this in the final motion i might maybe i might do I might do a dyno before and after of uh, the turbo kit like I'll do one with the just the cams the low compression and all that stuff just to see where it's at before turbos uh, it's probably going to be really low. Follow me on Snapchat, J-A-D-E-N-W-I-B-B. -B. That's how you stay up to date, 100% up to date with my car, with everything. Because these videos, they take time. That's why I'm in so many different outfits because I got to do it day for day. Because um, I just work on it when I can. Like it's literally random times when I work on it. Follow me on Instagram, H-U-D-I-N-I underscore V-Q. I want to start posting on Instagram more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, fuck.